CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 5 Elementary Shapes Page 99 Part 3 5.6 Perpendicular Lines When two lines intersect and the angle between them is a right angle, then the lines are said to be perpendicular. If a line AB is perpendicular to CD, we write AB, inverted T symbol, CD. Think, discuss and write. If AB is perpendicular to CD, then should we say that CD is perpendicular to AB also? Perpendiculars around us. You can give plenty of examples from things around you for perpendicular lines or line segments. The English alphabet T is one. Is there any other alphabet which illustrates perpendicularity? Consider the edges of a postcard. Are the edges perpendicular? We have a figure given here with sides A, B, M, N. The line L denotes a line. Let segment AB be a line segment. Mark its midpoint as M. Let MN be a line perpendicular to AB through M. Does MN divide segment AB into two equal parts? MN bisects AB, that is, divides segment AB into two equal parts and is also perpendicular to segment AB. So we say MN is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. You will learn to construct it later. Page 100. Exercise 5.5. 1. Which of the following are models for perpendicular lines? A. The adjacent edges of a tabletop. B. The lines of a railway track. C. The line segments forming the letter L. D. The letter V. 2. Let segment PQ be the perpendicular to the line segment XY. Let segment PQ and segment XY intersect in the point A. What is the measure of angle PAY? 3. There are two set squares in your box. What are the measures of the angles that are formed at their corners? Do they have any angle measure that is common? 4. Study the diagram. The line L is perpendicular to line M. We have a diagram given here showing line L and M as perpendicular lines. We also have the markings A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H on line L and the unit measurements from 0 to 8. There is a point P given on the line M. A. Is CE equal to EG? B. Does PE bisect CG? C. Identify any two line segments for which PE is the perpendicular bisector. D. Are these true? 1. AC is greater than FG. 2. CD is equal to GH. 3. BC is less than EH. 5.7. Classification of triangles. Do you remember a polygon with the least number of sides? That is a triangle. Let us see the different types of triangle we can get. Do this. Using a protractor and a ruler, find the measures of the sides and angles of the given triangles. Fill the measures in the given table. We have eight different figures showing eight different triangles marked as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Page 101. There's a table with three columns. Column 1. The measure of the angles of the triangle. Column 2. What can you say about the angles? Column 3. Measures of the sides. The measure of the angles of the triangle. A. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. What can you say about the angles? All angles are equal. Measures of the sides? Dash. 
the measure of the angles of the triangle from B to H are blank. You have to fill the required angles and then tell us what can you say about the angles. That is dash angles dash for all the remaining seven angles and also fill the third column measures of the sides for all eight. Observe the angles and the triangles as well as the measures of the sides carefully. Is there anything special about them? What do you find? Triangles in which all the angles are equal. If all the angles in a triangle are equal, then its sides are also dash. Triangles in which all the three sides are equal. If all the sides in a triangle are equal, then its angles are dash triangle which have two equal angles and two equal sides if two sides of a triangle are equal it has dash equal angles and if two angles of a triangle are equal it has dash equal sides triangles in which no two sides are equal if none of the angles of a triangle are equal then none of the sides are equal if the three sides of a triangle are unequal, then the three angles are also dash. Page 102. Take some more triangles and verify these. For this, we will again have to measure all the sides and angles of the triangles. We have here six different triangles in six different figures A, B, C, D, E, F. The triangles have been divided into categories and given special names. Let us see what they are. Naming triangles based on sides. A triangle having all three unequal sides is called a scalene triangle, figure C and E. A triangle having two equal sides is called an isosceles triangle, figures B and F. A triangle having three equal sides is called an equilateral triangle. Figures A and D. Classify all the triangles whose sides you measured earlier using these definitions. Naming triangles based on angles. If each angle is less than 90 degrees, then the triangle is called an acute angled triangle. If any one angle is a right angle, then the triangle is called a right angled triangle. If any one angle is greater than 90 degrees, then the triangle is called an obtuse angled triangle. We have three different triangles here, an acute angled triangle, a right angled triangle and an obtuse angled triangle. Name the triangles whose angles were measured earlier according to these three categories. How many were right angled triangles? Do this. Try to draw rough sketches of a. A scalene acute angled triangle. B. An obtuse angled isosceles triangle. Page 103. C. A right angled isosceles triangle. D. A scalene right angled triangle. Do you think it is possible to sketch A. An obtuse angled equilateral triangle. B. A right angled equilateral triangle. C. A triangle with two right angles. Think, discuss and write your conclusions. Exercise 5.6 1. Name the types of following triangles. A. Triangle with lengths of sides 7 cm, 8 cm and 9 cm. B. Triangle ABC with AB is equal to 8.7 cm. AC is equal to 7 cm and BC is equal to 6 cm. C. Triangle PQR such that PQ is equal to QR is equal to PR is equal to 5 cm. D. Triangle DEF with M angle D equal to 90 degrees. E. Triangle XYZ with M angle Y equal to 90 degrees and XY equal to YZ. F. Triangle LMN with M angle L equal to 30 degrees, M angle M equal to 70 degrees, 
and M angle N equal to 80 degrees. 2. Match the following. Measures of triangle. Types of triangle. Measures of triangle. 1. Three sides of equal length. 2. Two sides of equal length. 3. All sides are of different length. 4. Three acute angles. 5. One right angle. 6. One obtuse angle. 7. One right angle with two sides of equal length. Types of triangle. A. Scalen. B. Isosceles right angled. C. Obtuse angled. D. Right angled. E. Equilateral. F. Acute angled. G. Isosceles. 3. Name each of the following triangles in two different ways. You may judge the nature of the angle by observation. We have six different triangles given here as A, B, C, D, E, F. Page 104. 4. Try to construct triangles using matchsticks. Some are shown here. We have three different triangles made with matchsticks. Can you make a triangle with A. 3 matchsticks B. 4 matchsticks C. 5 matchsticks D. 6 matchsticks Remember, you have to use all the available matchsticks in each case. Name the type of triangle in each case. If you cannot make a triangle, think of reasons for it. 5.8. Quadrilaterals a quadrilateral, if you remember, is a polygon which has four sides. Do this. 1. Place a pair of unequal sticks such that they have their endpoints joined at one end. Now place another such pair meeting the free ends of the first pair. What is the figure enclosed? It is a quadrilateral, like the one you see here. We have a quadrilateral ABCD given here. The sides of the quadrilateral are segment AB, segment BC, dash, dash. There are four angles for this quadrilateral. They are given by angle BAD, angle ADC, angle DCB and dash. BD is one diagonal. What is the other? Measure the length of the sides and the diagonals. Measure all the angles also. 2. Using four unequal sticks, as you did in the above activity, see if you can form a quadrilateral such that a. All the four angles are acute. b. One of the angles is obtuse. c. One of the angles is right-angled. d. Two of the angles are obtuse. E. Two of the angles are right-angled. F. The diagonals are perpendicular to one another. Page 105. Do this. You have two set squares in your instrument box. One is 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees set square. The other is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees set square. You and your friend can jointly do this. A. Both of you will have a pair of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees set squares. Place them as shown in the figure. Can you name the quadrilateral described? What is the measure of each of its angles? This quadrilateral is a rectangle. One more obvious property of the rectangle you can see is that opposite sides are of equal length. What other properties can you find? B. If you use a pair of 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees set squares, you get another quadrilateral this time. It is a square. Are you able to see that all the sides are of equal length? What can you say about the angles and the diagonals? Try to find a few more properties of the square. C. If you place the pair of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees set squares in a different position, you get a parallelogram. Do you notice that the opposite sides are parallel? Are the opposite sides 
equal? Are the diagonals equal? D. If you use four 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees set squares, you get a rhombus. Page 106. E. If you use several set squares, you can build a shape like the one given here. Here is a quadrilateral in which a pair of two opposite sides is parallel. It is a trapezium. Here is an outline summary of your possible findings. Complete it. We have a table. The column headings are Column 1, quadrilateral. Column 2 is divided into two parts. Opposite sides, parallel, equal. Column 3, all sides equal. Column 4, opposite angles equal. Column 5 is again divided into two parts. Diagonals, equal, perpendicular. Let's read from row 1. Quadrilateral, parallelogram. Yes, yes, no, yes, no, no. Rectangle, dash, dash, no, dash, dash, dash. Square, dash, 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 yes. Rhombus, dash, 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 yes, dash, dash. Trapezium, dash, no, dash, 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 dash. Fill in the blank spaces with the correct answers. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.